Welcome to another episode of What's New in S2M Center version 5. In this video, we'll be going over the machine and tool catalog features that have been added. The first new feature that I want to go over is the new face up option for drill and dowel machines. As you can see, I already have the machine catalog open and a drill and dowel machine selected. To see this new feature, we just need to switch over to the setup tab. Now that the setup tab is showing, we can already see this new feature here. What this allows us to do is specify that no matter what the part face up or down orientation is at the saw or nest, the part will have to be face up when inserted into the drill and dowel machine. For this next feature, I've returned to the machine catalogs machine tab. This will allow me to show off some of the new links that have been added for CNC machines. The first set is for drill and dowel machines. If we expand the NC link pulldown, you can see that we now have links for the BSE ELIX and the Ganomat Index Pro machines. If we now change the selected machine to our sample other machine, which is of the specialized other type, we can see a couple more links, such as the new BSE door machine link and the Wienig French miter link. The next new feature has to do with the output for the SCM wind cut link, so I will select my SCM wind cut saw. Next, I will click on the setup tab and filter out all the properties except the parameters. Now we can see the new reverse cut order parameter property, which allows you to specify that off cuts should be cut in the reverse order. The next feature has to do with EDX and EDY value compensation for part machines that are full outline part machines. To show this off, I will switch over to my default P2P machine. Now I just need to change over to the setup tab, filter out all properties except the IntelliCAM properties, and scroll down the property list. Now we can see our new offset by one half EDX EDY property. This allows us to specify that operations should be offset by one half the EDX or EDY value that was added to oversize the part before it was sent to the S2M center. The final new machine catalog feature is the silent mirror programs feature. Because of the difficulty that can arise with lining up shaped parts along a drill and dowel fence, we now create mirrored programs for programs that are generated. This can help with those alignment issues. The final feature that we're going to go over in this video is the new diameter tolerance property for drill tools. Let me open the tool catalog to show this off. Now that I have the tool catalog open and a drill selected, we can see the diameter tolerance property here. What this allows us to do is specify a tolerance for this specific drill that will allow holes to be drilled with it. In previous versions, if the hole to be drilled was too far off in diameter from all the drills in the tool catalog, then the automatic tool selection logic would fail to find a drill to drill the hole with. This would result in a router bit, if available, being used to route the hole. With this, we no longer have to worry about this as the tolerance setting can be used to compensate for those minor discrepancies. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of the S2M Center. We hope you enjoyed it, and as always, if you need more information on the S2M Center, you can visit us at www.screentomachine.com.